next speaker who's going to be talking about empowering an inclusive and sustainable and reliable digital India is Mr. Sanjay Bhutani, Senior Vice President, Adani Connects. Uh, Sanjay has more than 25 years of experience uh, and he's the Senior Vice President and Head of Data Center Business for Adani Connects. His areas of expertise are IT and telecom, business development, cloud and data center build, vendor management and business processes. In the past, he has been associated with organizations like Global Cloud Exchange, Bharti Airtel, Tulip Telecom, and Vodafone. So please put your hands together and welcome on stage Mr. Sanjay Bhutani. Good afternoon, everyone. Good to see such a wonderful audience and uh, that too in Goa. Yesterday, I think all of us rocked. And today, again, uh, evening is going to be very wonderful. And uh, since morning, I'm listening to all of you and, uh, getting, and uh, getting to learn a lot of stuff from all of you. So I'll, today's uh, agenda is, is inclusiveness and how do we make sure we are, a, we are a more than a billion India, which is actually, we are, we are blessed to be having actually lived in this era, which helps us to grow faster, which helps us to move faster, which helps us to do things which are, which are needed for the country. So in a big nation like us, I think uh, if I have to compare with the rest of the globe, no one is blessed like what we have in terms of a big nation. And when we have a big nation, I think clearly we have traveled a long way in the last couple of years, and this helps us to be a big digital India hub, which is, which is going to be known as a global digital hub in India. So there are a couple of, couple of things which are important for us to know. Revamp business model. I think clearly uh, when people say chief information officer for us is a chief innovation officer. This actually, these guys, all, the, all of you have actually transformed a definition of chief information officer to chief innovation officer. Revamp the business model, which is actually on a driving seat. You all of you are actually on driving seat. And uh, integrated, integrated and agile value chain, which is very important today. We know in the last two years, we have seen a lot of challenges in terms of value chain, and which is coming up in smaller way and a bigger way. Then actually, other thing is this, when you are a driving seat, you are, you are creating a lot of revenue opportunity which is needed for the organization. It's no longer in chief information officer is a support system. They are in driving seat and they are helping organization to create uh, newer revenue streams. And obviously, operational efficiency is something which is very important and you guys are able to help organization to be become more agile and more efficient. And finally, Customer experience is something which is the most important aspect. With the agility, with the new value chain system, you guys are able to get a lot of newer customer experience which is need of the hour for our nation. So robust digital infrastructure, when we say, is clearly uh, when we started our journey, there are colo, there is a cloud, there is an on-prem and edge. We were at only 20% as per Gartner. And by 2025, all put together is going to be 85%. That's a big shift. If I have to, if I have to compare with any developed nation, I think clearly this, is, this era is, is going to be very, very, very efficient for us. At the same time, all of us are participating in this, and all of us are contributing to this journey. So we at Adani Connects, when we look at uh, digital infrastructure, we look at it holistically. While we started a journey in Adani Connex as a data center player, clearly we actually realized this requires more than a data center. We are building 1,000 megawatt of data center today. Industry stands at 550 megawatt. So building a 1,000 megawatt data center in next one decade is something which is our business plan. And in subsequent slides, I'll tell you how we are progressing and what we are today. And along with this, all of us understand today, undersea cable is very important. And all of us are aware, Mumbai and Chennai, are, there are the two locations in India which are serving to India. So we are unlocking that by bringing in a cable in southern part of the country, eastern part of the country, and central part of the country. And we know next phase of growth is going to come from edge. Until and unless we unlock this, this digital, global digital India hub is not possible until and unless we start unlocking these, these pieces. Uh, next is terrestrial fiber. We know terrestrial fiber is the most important aspect of a data center. And we fortunately are a power company. We are having a lot of 
utility fiber cable which are connecting our data center. Not only our data center, we are going to connect incumbent data centers, which is going to help to, to avoid, which are underground cable, this, this, these cables travel along the transmission lines, which I'm sure no one will ever dare to cut those cables. That's another piece which is important. The next is the multi-cloud. Today, we are, all of us know multi-cloud is very important, and uh, we, we know all the four biggies in a CSP space are doing so well, and it is growing at almost, what, 40% CAGR year on a basis. How do we make sure we become agile there? How do we make sure the way we have a mobile, we can actually port to some other operator? How can we bring in that efficiency, which actually helps you guys to become more efficient and make sure you can make a transition or whichever you want to choose, you can choose very comfortably. Sustainability is something which is, I'm sure all of you must have taken some pledge, some, some day, some, some month and some year, you guys are actually going to be a carbon neutral. We are solving this problem not only from a data center perspective, we are solving an organizational issue. Currently, we operate 25 gigawatt of uh, capacity across 17 states. When, while we are talking to all of you, we are helping to solve sustainability, which is on a power side of it. While sustainability is, I, we know it's, it's a very business cause and a social cause, we are going beyond power. We are actually helping you to think about how, do we, how, do, how you can reduce the power, power consumption, how can you reduce the water consumption, and how can we give back water to the society? How can we bring in the newness of getting a hydrogen truly to our data center and to the organization? Those are the projects which we are working on, and this is going to help complete way, how do we digital infrastructure we, we completed? And truly, India, what, what India needs is service as a service product. So service, everything as, as paper use model is very critical for us. And I'm sure all of you will appreciate in last one decade or two decades, all of us, us buying boxes, creating, late, buying some of the other boxes. Now it's, a, it's high time we create a service model which is bare, 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 bare metal as a service or security as a service. Anything what you need is, has to be truly service as a service which we are going to create. And you will see this coming up in our data center on a, on a every quarter basis. So I'm sure you must have heard we got an infrastructure status at a data center. What, is, what, is, what that means to us? We are able to get a lot of support from the government, which is need of the hour. And I'm sure this infrastructure status has got a lot of insight, which all of us should be aware. Today, all the policies what we have at a data center hides under IT, ITS. We are able to successfully get some of the states, seven states have already came out with a policy, data center policy, which is helping us to be more efficient, agile. At the same time, we need support from the government in terms of this infrastructure is payback is seven years, 10 years, 20 years. So how can I land my money from a lenders at an at a efficient rate? That is also one of the important aspects which government has realized. Government also came out with a lot of policies which actually helps nation to grow faster pace, create a common infrastructure which can be used by all of us. Let's not create, let's not dig roads, let's not create data center individually. That is another piece. As we know, 5G is going to be around by October. How do we make sure we become very efficient in terms of edge ecosystem? Edge ecosystem is very important. All of us are going to experience that. And government is, is emphasizing a lot of stuff in terms of getting that edge implemented in a truly manner. And we know tier two, tier three towns required a lot of fiber infrastructure which, is, which does not exist today. So creating a in common infrastructure which is on a fiber side of it and creating an ecosystem wherein all of us can house our edge data center ecosystem, data center in a box kind of environment is very important. That is something which is going to come in in a couple of quarters from now. We know 100 unicorns, 100 plus unicorns are there, and these unicorns are increasing day by day. We are, we are number two across the globe. And these unicorns are actually helping us to innovate a lot of stuff which we have actually never thought maybe five years back or seven years back. So these unicorns are becoming a brand ambassador for India. They are actually creating a lot of fame for India, which is very important for a nation to have. Ultimately, what we need, job creation is something data center doesn't create much jobs, but digital infrastructure e ecosystem creates a lot of jobs. So what we have adopted is a pretty new model for, for at least for our organization. When we actually look around, we are a bunch of people are, are there in data center. How do we create newer pool of 
people, resources, which can help to create a larger pool. We have actually taken a pledge to get at least 30, 35% of manpower from our colleges. And straight away, those guys are going to Amsterdam and some other places across the globe to learn and see the good part of the rest of the globe. And so same practices are getting actually implemented in India. So this is actually a newer way of doing business. This is, this is the way we are creating newer jobs and making sure new resources are coming. While we know 60, 65 million jobs are going to come, but how do we make sure we are able to retain a good pool of talent and at the same time, we are developing a newer pool of talent in, in, the, in the nation and the organization as well. This is about our, our plan. So we have, as I've told you, we are creating a 1,000 megawatt data center. The first seven data centers are going to come in Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, Delhi, Bangalore, Pune. So these, these towns will have a capacity of 450 megawatt in the next three years. And 550 megawatt is going to be in tier two and tier three towns. I'm happy to share we have already partnered with someone who has got a capacity available in terms of power, in terms of uh, telecom, in terms of availability of space. Just we have to create an environment, DC in a box, add that to a sustainability score of it. That helps us to move fast and, and really see uh, India as a nation is, is moving fast on edge. And as I said, we are a big nation. If we make this successful, this is going to help each one of you and be more efficient, more agile, which is the need of the hour. So finally, what we need is sustainability, partnership, processes, innovation, and technology. These are the five pillars which, if we integrate well, I think our time has come. Clearly, today, cloud standards is about 9 10%, and developed countries are 60%. If we integrate all this well, I think there is a long runway to cover, and we can, we can actually speed up and cover it in the next three, four hours. And digital infrastructure is something which is, all of us know, how developed countries have progressed. But there are a lot of learning which is going out of, out of India. At the same time, we say we are going to be a global digital hub. How do we make sure we, we get the data of other countries to us? Today, this industry stands at 550 megawatt. Unfortunately, 70% of our data is going out. All of us are aware there are some policies which are going to come. There is a law which is going to come. But at the same time, we have to be innovative and see how can we bring in some of the countries like Singapore has put a moratorium on data center for the last two, three years. How do we make sure we get a data of Singapore or some other countries which have an issue, we can house them in, in India? So those kind of thought process, those kind of thinking after discussing with a lot of you, we are working on such project which is going to help India to be truly global digital infrastructure hub. I think I'm done. Yeah. Thank you so very much for patiently hearing me. It's, I'm really blessed to have all of you and uh, really delighted to be part of such a wonderful event. Thank you.